So this is my friend Brutus and he is demonstrating some very enthusiastic paw handling and trick behaviors. So hopefully at the end of teaching your dog how to do this, this is kind of what it will look like. So you do want to see if it's actually something that your dog is interested in doing. So we start first with seeing if they even want to offer their paw. So a lot of times this is something that just kind of happens naturally and you'll find that it's easier to teach a dog how to do this behavior and offer their paws if they're a dog that's kind of already what I call pawsy in nature which is like Brutus here where they actually like to use their paws for things. Okay so here we are working on paw handling and some paw behaviors such as offering paws, shake, and high five. All four of these dogs are at different levels of their skills and training. So you'll see Brutus is joining us again in the front. The two black dogs are Jasper and Wednesday, and they do have a little bit of exposure to this, but not a ton. So we're just cleaning it up a little bit. And then the golden is Ari. And as you can see in the video, he does struggle with this behavior just a little bit. Um, but that's because Ari is not typically a dog who will use his paws for things. He likes to use more of his nose and touch his nose to things. And the other three in this video, like we were discussing in Brutus's video, are dogs that do like to use their paws for things. So it's been a little bit easier working on this skill with them because they already have a little bit of that want and that need to use their paws. So why do we want to teach this um, trick? So it's actually not just a fun little pet trick that you can teach. It is something that we want to work on because it is in the realm of cooperative care training. So this is where we can actually teach our dogs that they have power and choice and control over offering their paws to us. And this will come in handy when we need to do other things like look at their paw that has a wound or remove a sticker or even an introduction to nail trimming. So one of the most important things that you can do is work on your dog offering their paw and when they do offer their paw or make any sort of movement with their paw towards you, you definitely want to reward that. One of the things that we tend to do that dogs don't like very much is when they do offer us their paw, instead of keeping our hand open, we tend to close our hand around the paw. So I would definitely recommend that when they do offer the paw to your hand, just keep your hand open for them and don't automatically close your hand around the paw and squeeze. We want them to want to keep offering this behavior. So, and also keep in mind that you're gonna have to do some shaping with this behavior too. So you're not necessarily going to have the finished product right away. So make sure that you are rewarding the try and rewarding any sort of paw engagement that they are giving you and you can always clean up the rest later. But remember to have fun while you're doing this. So this is my girl Sheena. Sheena is pretty advanced with her paw handling and paw tricks. As you saw, she just wanted to offer a paw to me immediately. So we are going to start working on seeing if she can offer me both of her paws at the same time. So Sheena's actually pretty ambidextrous. She can offer, <laughs> now she's running around getting distracted back there. That's okay, we'll take a break. So Sheena is actually pretty good at offering both of her paws. We did have to work on this a little bit, but she can offer both of them equally. You will notice, oh, there it is, perfect. I love it, we got it. So you will notice with a lot of dogs, they're a little bit more comfortable with offering one paw versus the other one. That's okay. This is definitely something that you can work on. So not all dogs are comfortable offering both. So just remember to reward them anytime they do offer the paw that you don't necessarily want and just keep working on the skills. As you can see, Sheena just gave me the cue that she would like to end the session. So we're going to do a fun little spin and then we're going to be done. So Olive is going to show off some of her skills with her paw handling and tricks. This is a favorite of Olive's as well. So we're just gonna start off with some simple exercises of paw to my open hand. You see she wants to do the nose touch too, that's totally fine. Paw to the open hand again. Working on duration, seeing if she can keep her paw in my hand a little bit longer. And then you'll see I'm doing some very gentle and quick squeezing. Very gentle. 
and moving around and I am taking my cues from her so if she is uncomfortable with me grasping or gently squeezing her paw I will immediately release I'm not going to just hang on to her paw the more we hang on to their paws the more they're not going to want to give their paws to us freely and I want to make sure we're protecting that behavior so we're also working on jumping paws too but this little girl loves to jump up and give kisses so that's one thing that we are working on with her is her jumping up to greet so we're giving her an alternative behavior to do by jumping up to touch hands instead of people's noses.